says it puts everybody at risk. The former TSA chief, Kip Hawley, author of Permanent Emergency, thinks the policy doesn't go far enough. He wants machetes and battle axes on board as well. Kip Hawley joins me now, along with Mary Schiavo, who's the former Inspector General for the Department of uh, Transportation, also Congressman Ed Markey. Uh, welcome to you all. Uh, let me start with you, Ed Markey, if I may. You are opposing this attempt by the TSA to relax the rules on various implements. Why? Well, because in Boston, Mohammed Atta and uh, nine other Al-Qaeda hijacked two planes back in 9-11. That's where I'm from. Uh, and those guys used a box cutter, just like this, uh, to take over those planes and the other two planes. <clears throat> this is still banned. Uh, what TSA is now saying is that, uh, while this is still banned, this Swiss Army knife can be brought onto the same planes. Mm. That makes no sense whatsoever. You know, we have gone a long way since 9-11, where people after that incident were looking at each other suspiciously on planes every time they flew. And now people feel more comfortable. And what they're doing is returning us to that day where they're going to wonder, does someone have a knife? And are there four or five others on this plane uh, attempting to do something uh, which could result in catastrophe. And that's just wrong and why I've introduced my legislation, the No Knives Aboard Act, uh, in order to force Congress to vote on this issue if TSA does not reverse itself. Okay, Kip Hawley, you ran the TSA for a number of years after 9-11. <clears throat> and I've got to say, I, I share the incredulity of many people as to why on earth the TSA would start relaxing rules by allowing knives back on board. Who, who needs to have a knife in midair anyway? The question is, what can destroy an airplane? And Al-Qaeda found a vulnerability on 9-11 and <clears throat> exploited it with blades. Uh, that vulnerability was closed really late, later in the day when Flight 93 went down. And in the years since, that door is slammed shut. And Al-Qaeda is after much more sophisticated and more effective methods, especially bombs. And what's happened is that in searching for these small objects, the officers are distracted from the real purpose of finding the very difficult to find bombs. And, and to Congressman Markey's point, that's why I said the somewhat quotable thing about the battle axes is that if you're going to say blades don't, <clears throat> don't pose a threat, then include them all. Don't, don't try to differentiate between one another because the fact is, no matter what size your blade is, you cannot hijack an airplane. Okay, let's, let's, turn, let's, turn is, to, is let's turn to... Okay, let's turn to Mary Schiavo. I, I'm a bit of a loss to understand why you can't still kill people with knives, and presumably that could help to hijack a plane. Mary Schiavo, am I missing something? Uh, well, yes, you actually can kill and bring down a plane with a knife because we're doing a little bit of revisionist history here. On September 11, 2001, it was already the law that the cockpit door had to be locked and secured. There were almost a thousand hijackings carried out by knives. The weapon of choice was a 3.5 inch blade and under. There were only 50 bombings. More people died in hijacked aircraft. And the fact is they got the doors open by stabbing flight attendants. And so the crazy thing now is by making distinctions just before September 11, they allowed 3.5 five inch knives back on planes and what they were supposed to do was to measure them and what they said they did was take their ID and measure it against the blades these are the exact kind of knives that Mohammed Atta purchased they were both allowed on 9-11 under the new law this one would not be allowed but this one would it makes no sense and they take tens of thousands of uh, pocket knives off of passengers a year we're going to be spending our time measuring knives and on 9-11 remember we were looking for bombs and the hijackers exploited our our short-sightedness our security will be hanging by an inch and if you give a terrorist an inch he'll take a mile okay back, to you. back to you Kip Hawley I mean a lot of people have expressed this same view to me they just seem completely bemused why the TSA right. at this particular time when there's still a major terrorist threat to the American people that you would suddenly want right. a lot of knives on board planes when quite clearly right. you could use them to intimidate and attack stewards or stewardesses and force your way via them into cockpits no no not gonna happen and how do the, you know the threat is, is <laughs> a, the, because it'd be shot dead by by 
federal air marshals or, you know, uh, pilots so all Just have. to clarify, just to clarify, there is a federal yeah. marshal aboard every single domestic flight no. in America, isn't no. there? No. No, of course not. No. Well, if there there's not, thousands... how do you know they're going to shoot them dead if they're not on board? Because, <laughs> look, the, the, look at it from the, the TSA's point of view, which is there is a real threat of bombs. There is not a threat from these hijacking type things. Al Qaeda knows that they're not going to take a plane with a knife. Why? Down. Why? And and, you, and don't an officer... you don't explain to me though why? Why is the threat any less than it was? I've seen stewardesses. Because the passengers, I have seen stewardesses. If I have seen stewardesses on American planes and stewards going into the cockpit. So why can't you use a, one of these knives? I've got one here, a pen knife or one of these baseball bats or a golf club, which are now you want allowed on. Or in your case, machetes you want to have on board. I could use a machete to threaten a stewardess into getting me into a cockpit and I could take control no, no. of that plane. Why are you so confident that's not going to happen? Because the level of security is is just night and day from before 9-11 to today and i'm telling you <clears throat> hijacking with blades is not going to happen it, it, it there is zero possibility of that it is bombs and it is difficult enough to find the bomb parts and that's why administrator pistol is after this thing so hard is willing to take the flak because he knows that those officers have a limited number of moments in looking at the screen to find the bomb parts and cluttering through with a whole list of other objects that may be dangerous. Now, I'm very sympathetic to the flight attendants who are worried about the knives. And just like um, smoke detectors and uh, playing words with friends, the FAA, if there's a cabin safety issue rule, can ban knives. But TSA needs to focus on bombs. And it is a distraction from that critical mission. Uh, to, to be fussing around with these knives. I've got to say, you Mr. Hawley, the, Mr. Hawley, <laughs> okay, Mr. Hawley, I know you, yeah. you, you seem completely bemused by anybody who would think that any plane could be taken no. charge of with a knife, and yet that's exactly what happened on 9-11. Let me turn to you, it, Mr. It, Markey, if I may, for, for the last word on this. I don't get this, and the fact the more uh, Mr. Hawley spoke there, the less I got it. Am I, am I missing something? Uh, no, and moreover, you know, while... Uh, an, a knife this size is going to be allowed, is not going to be, uh, is going to be allowed. Uh, a knife that is just another inch longer will be prohibited. And so the TSA screeners are going to have to be measuring anyway. Right. And so if they're going to, why don't we just keep it the way it was because these box cutters are prohibited. And so why don't we just make it simple? The TS, the union that represents the TSA screeners, they're against this change. The flight attendants are against it. The air marshals are against it. The pilots are against it. U.S. Air, Delta, American Airlines are all against it. Why don't we just give the people of the United States the, the knowledge that they're safe when they're walking onto a plane and that no one will have a knife on board. It just makes no sense to change this rule. No, it only seems to make sense to uh, Kit Pauley, who wants machetes on board. That's but right. uh, anyway, we've got to leave it there. Thank you all very much for your time. I remain okay. completely mystified why the TSA is doing this. And I think most level headed Americans do as well. Anyway,